All right, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this McFarlane Toys figure, and it is Batman, the Adam West uh, Batman, the classic TV series Batman, with, uh, yeah, with uh, some accessories, and also it comes with a cloth cape. So there's the box right there, and then on the back it shows an image of Adam West, and uh, there's a card inside where you could have, when you scan it and then uh, enter the um, the code that's provided, then you could um, you could have a chance of winning this uh, Batman cow. So let's leave that aside and let's take a look at Batman the figure itself. And uh, again, he comes with a bunch of hands and uh, a batarang and his walkie-talkie, say. So um, these are the hands that he comes with. And of course, his base. And then let's take a look at the figure itself. And it does come with those uh, finger hands, these victory hands for that uh, famous uh, dancing pose you could recreate from the uh, the old TV series. All right, so uh, if you want to recreate that scene, it goes like that, something like that. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, it's uh, it's a nice touch that uh, McFarlane Toys added. Now. Um, there's a huge issue with this uh, figure uh, aesthetically there are yeah two main issues first if you have his hands down you can you would notice that his shoulders are like sticking out way crazy uh, it looks absolutely ridiculous uh, it does not look like Adam West at all um, his body structure does not look like this uh, especially those shoulders they're just oh my goodness they're literally balls that uh, has shoulders and uh, they don't look good at all whatsoever um, and then the second issue is the head sculpt you zoom in you can see he has no ears uh, not these pointy ears but his actual ears like yeah I understand that if someone's wearing a cowl um, his ears will be pushed back but not to the point not to the degree where it sunks in to his face here so yeah that's uh that's uh yeah I don't know how they sometimes I honestly I don't know how some of these uh, figures get approved because uh, the likeness it looks nothing like them and then uh, there's sometimes there's just issues where they are clearly issues where if you have, would have told the uh, sculptor they would have fixed it easily but for some reason they didn't and uh, this is what we what we get the uh, yeah head scope is not great and the shoulders are just sticking out like crazy like look at that that's insane how these get approved and then so uh, uh with that aside uh figures does uh look pretty good oh and then i did one modification his uh, his belt let's see initially it goes all the way up here like that so it goes all the way up here so uh yeah if they made it a separate piece i i don't understand why they didn't just uh, push it down a little bit so um this piece is uh, glued to the uh to the panties the grandma panties here so you can see how thick this grandma panty is how high it is so the belt uh, itself is removable from the uh from the pants from the grandma panties so all you have to do is just uh, pry it open and it should come right off and then you can slide the belt down a little bit just so uh, he has a little bit more abdominal section here because uh, with the belt on he has no abdominal section whatsoever and even on the photos you can see you can see the abdominal section and so if you push it down a little bit that will make, make things a lot nicer on uh, Batman here so all you have to do is just push this down a little bit yeah, just separate it yourself. It's easy to do and then once you did that then you can push the belt down a little bit to give his um, Abdominal section a little bit of room here to work with so now he looks much nicer. Well, I just need to readjust it a little bit Let's <coughs> push this thing down <clears throat> Then you have a proper looking Adam West Batman. So cape is a cloth material which is nice and it has a pretty strong wire running through it, running through on the side here and uh, in the already 
stitching is coming apart straight out of the box too so that's that's not good mm -hmm. but otherwise a decent looking figure uh, nonetheless uh, head is on a ball joint but uh, it doesn't okay it allows a little bit of movement you can look up that's good look down oh quite a bit that's good and then shoulders I do like the free floating uh, piece right here that hides the joint which allows his arms to move more that's good I like that but it's just the the shape of it is just all weird and then bicep rotation double jointed elbows ball hinge wrist then the abdominal uh, the chest there's a ball joint there and then the waist also has a ball joint but it is uh, very limited as far as range and these T joints, his legs go up to about that much. Double jointed knees, and then uh, there's this sponge the ankle and toes articulation as well. So is your is literally your standard McFarlane toys uh, articulation for this figure. It is good. It is good. I mean, uh, don't get me wrong but it's just like this a little off that's all and he does come with uh, accessories like this walkie talkie that's nice and then the batarang with a hole in it so you could attach a rope to it that's cool hopefully they'll make robin uh, there's no word on uh, robin yet but uh, hopefully they'll do that so i would love to get a batman and robin together and uh, yeah, let's do a comparison because uh, the only other Adam West figure I want to compare with would be, of course, the NECA one. And here it is. And I think NECA got it really well. Uh, they did a fantastic job with him. Uh, the body proportion is perfect on uh, this versus uh, the McFarlane Toys one. And you can see side by side. Yeah, this one of course a lot taller but still I mean as far as the likeness is concerned uh, Adam uh, the Adam West likeness and the detailing I think uh, NECA did a way better job uh, I understand both both are mass produced material but uh, somehow the NECA one is much much better as far as uh, sculpting and everything else Articulation maybe not as good as the uh, the um, the McFarlane toys, but uh, yeah, you could clearly see the difference between the two here. So let's get a closer look at that head sculpt. So that's the M West uh, head sculpt. And that's the McFarlane one. And you could clearly clearly see the difference between the two side by side here. This one looks more like Adam West, and this one, this one just looks like a something. Clearly, see the difference between the two, and the colors. Uh, actually, um, I think uh, uh, Neca did a better job with the colors as well. It's more uh, a bit of purpley. Then just straight up blue, which I don't believe the suit is straight up blue. This is literally straight up blue color, and yeah, but this one is more of a gray with uh, purple, with the more of a uh, hint of purple and uh, somewhat of a metallic purple too. And I'm not sure if this camera would be able to catch the uh, the purpley, sparkly purple on him. There's a hint of uh, sparkly purple. Which is accurate to um, to how Adam West was in the in the TV show, while this one you can see is clearly just a blue color. So yeah, it's definitely way more accurate than this one, definitely. And uh, oh, the belt is high though. Look at that. But still, proportion wise, yeah, the NECA one is far superior. And the price point is is pretty much the same too from when when we got this uh, back then. Uh, this is uh, they don't make this anymore, unfortunately. I wish uh, NECA would make some uh, more of these uh, Batman figures, 
which they didn't. They made a uh, 89 Batman and the scale, uh, quarter scale as well. Uh, they did a uh, Christian Bale uh, from Batman Begins in the scale as well, and then the Adam West Batman in the scale. Wish they would have uh, given us more, like all the rest of the Batman. That would have been nice from uh, NECA. Uh, we're, we're still getting something from uh, McFarlane Toys, which is nice. I like the fact that uh, McFarlane Toys uh, aren't worried about giving us uh, all the characters, because uh, I guess he knows uh, he knows they will, they will sell, so yeah. And uh, yeah, not a whole lot more to say, so let me get this guy out of the way and finish up with this by giving you a closer look and end this video. So let me rotate his head a little bit so you guys can see the detailing on him. I mean, you do see a hint of uh, Adam West here, but uh, yeah, uh -uh, not great. Those shoulders, look at that. That symbol's cool. The belt is nice. And the rest of him. So yeah, there you have it, Adam West Batman from uh, McFarlane Toys. And let me get a pose going so I could use that as my thumbnail. So there you go, thanks for watching.